let's get into it. I have a lot of makeup in front of me. Even on, even though I'm on my low buy, I still have a ton of stuff because I bought Tom Ford, Clay Poe, Chanel, Suku, Dior, Guerlain. The list goes on. And this is the low buy, uh, Chantecaille. So anyway, all right. What I'm gonna do today is do a speed review, if you will, of each brand and all of the products that I've tried in each brand over the last couple months. Um, it is gonna be like mid-February, sort of mid-February, a little bit before Valentine's Day when I do this video. And I wanted to kind of give you an update of everything that I've tried so far and really where I see things. When I do the reviews of each product, I'm using them for like the second or third time, unless I say specifically it's my first impression. And so now I've been using these things for a while, except for one thing that's really new, but I have thoughts. Um, so let's just go ahead and get in. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, Clay de Poe because the Clay de Poe isn't really new. It, it's confusing. One is the Luminizer. I did the whole Clay de Poe Luminizer video where I showed you all the Luminizers I have. They're actually called Face Enhancers. And it's that really cool packaging, but it's number 17, which already exists. So I already know I like that color story. It's very pretty. I love the packaging. Um, I am going to be selling some of the 17s in my declutter video, so that's going on. But I did want to mention this packaging. This packaging for the cushion foundation. So I do have the cushion foundation on right now. I have on B10. As I've said in, in other videos, I'm thinking about getting B00. I want to see what it looks like on me. I think the B10 is good, but I think in the winter, I think I might be a B00. So I, I this compact is like near the end of its life, if not at the end of its life. So I think I'm going to get the B00 and follow up with it. I do have one of the uh, precious lipsticks on its way. I don't have it yet, but as soon as I have it, um, I will do a review of that. So for the Clay de Poe, I, I really love this case. I think it's beautiful. So when it comes here in the U.S., I would definitely get it. I got this um, overseas, so I don't think it's available in the US, but if you're in Asia right now, you can pick that up. The Luminizer, I have mentioned, is available. It's at Neiman's and a whole bunch of other places. I'll make sure it's it's linked. Um, and it's over on my Shopify page if you're interested in there. All right, so that's not really new, but the packaging is new. Surat, I have not mentioned these uh, in 2024 because I'm fairly sure I talked about these before the year was out. Um, I'm not absolutely sure if it's at the end of the year-ish. These are the Surat, I think it was the end of the year, Souffle eyeshadows. And um, I still really like these. I think these are great. Uh, Plum Mauve is what I have on today. And I put it on first. Um, as a like base. So what these are, they're like springy. They're like, they're not like mayonnaise. They're, they're bouncy. They're very, very bouncy, but they have a beautiful luminescence that I think works great for like a one and done, a really easy look. I'm going to have a video coming up with like a 10 minute look kind of thing, like what to do really quickly if you're, you're in a rush. Um, but I think these Surat's are really, really nice. I have all six shades. The plum one I think is really pretty and I think they just work really well. Um, they stay on your eyes. Once they're on, they create a great base. You put powder over them, which is what I did today and I'll, I'll show you that look in a sec. Um, but you know, they're also really beautiful on their own. They have a great luminescence that does not come off. I mean, that'll stay on all day long. And they're, I just, I really like them. There's six different shades. And I have a video dedicated to um, showing you all the details of that if you're interested. I'll try to link as many videos as I can. Um, so that's Surat and Clay de Poe. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this moving. I'm gonna try to keep it relatively short. Um, Makeup by Mario. I did a review of his new lipsticks. These are the Super Satin Lipsticks. I have Bronze Baby and South Shore. These are great. These are great lipsticks. Um, they're really smooth. They stay on. They're beautiful. They have a, a nice feel to them. They're creamy. They don't settle into lines outside the lips. I like Bronx Baby a lot. I think this is going to be a popular shade. Um, I don't know if it is a popular, but it just, it feels like a shade that a lot of people will like. It's a good pinky nude. I really, really like this one. South Shore is also beautiful. I would love to try more shades, but I am trying to stay on my low buy until May, so I'm going to keep it where it is. But I have to say, like, they're really nice lipsticks. Beautiful feel, really satiny, 
really comfortable. I think the shades, there's a lot of good shades, uh, a lot of neutrals. There's, there's deeper shades if you're looking for them and you know, good price point. So I think those are great. Uh, when Sephora has their 20% sale for uh, Rouge members, I think it's usually April. I might pick up one or two could just because it'll be 20% off. Um, but yeah, really, really fond of that product. E Saint Laurent, I did pick up two new lipsticks, one in the Valentine's Day packaging. Um, and I'll make sure the, the shade is below, but I think it was Muse New or New Muse. Can't remember exactly. And I did show this lipstick. Um, this is a new type of lipstick. It's really beautiful, really smooth. It does have a similarity to Bronx uh, Baby, but it's warmer. It's got more of a, a reddish tone to it. It's really beautiful on. This is a great, great shade. And the packaging is just really cute. You know, it's got the red. Um, for, for Valentine's Day. And I also picked up one of the um, Candy Glaze. This is in shade 15, and I'll make sure the, the shade name is down below. But I love these. These are just, they're juicy. They're juicy, glossy lips. It's a really pretty shade. I think it's something nude, uh, but again, I'll have the name down below. You can switch it up and down, which I like, because you can click it up, but you can also click it back down if you put too much. It does smell and taste a little bit like a Jolly Rancher. If you don't like that, you, you won't like the product, but I have pretty much all the shades of um, the Candy Glaze. I think it's a great shade. It's a great product. Again, it's very glossy, very juicy. If you're more of a matte person, that's not gonna be for you, but I really like the product. Um, Suku, uh, I picked up the, I guess it would be the winter collection for Suku because I forget what this, this is the spring collection. I don't have it yet. I have ordered it, pre-ordered it. I bought both, um, eyeshadows. I bought both eyeshadows and a couple of the lipsticks. And I think that's it. I didn't get any of the blushes this time. Again, low buy. Uh, but I will say that the, I hear the lipsticks in the spring, uh, the spring release are absolutely amazing. But I did pick up uh, pretty much everything in the winter release. They were uh, treatment wrapping lips, uh, blushes, and eyeshadows. The blush I have on today is actually this one. I have this kind of as the contour shade, and then I have the highlighter on as well. You can see it's, it's this one's actually pretty deep um, for Suku. I have another blush on underneath that, um, which I'll explain in a minute. But as I've always said about Suku, I love the Suku, Suku collections. Um, if you have a chance to pick them up, uh, I would seriously suggest it. Um, I think that very rarely do they make a mistake. Um, I don't think they've actually ever made a, a real mistake in any of their collections. Sometimes, you know, I don't like the color stories as much as others, or sometimes some people have said, you know, some of their stuff is a little bit more um, shimmery than others, but for the most part, uh, their color stories are really easy to use. And although when you first look at them, sometimes it's like, I don't know if that's for me. When you put them on the eye, they, they, they tend to work out. So, um, I really am very impressed with, with Suku and, uh, you know, have loved every collection that, that's come out. I have a video on the Suku collection up as well. Gorlan, I did buy the case, the brushed, cherry blossom case, which I still, is still my favorite. Um, and then the shade 69, which is a beautiful pink shade. Now this is more of a rosy pink, but it does look really beautiful on. And if you haven't tried the Rouge G formula from Golan, it's a really good formula. It's one of my favorites actually for a satin lip. I think it's excellent. It's not a glossy lip. Like I said, it's satin. Um, but it's very smooth. It's very light. Um, and it has just a nice, it has a nice texture to it. Um, it's not runny, so you're not going to get, um, lines and it's not super creamy. So it's not super thick. It's just like a nice thin cream, um, satiny lipstick. So I think it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good formula. Three brands left, Dior, Chanel, and Tom Ford, of course. Oh, no, Chantika. So let's do Chantika. Chantecai, this is the lovely little green bag this came in. This was the Sea Turtle collection. And I did, again, I have an entire video dedicated to the Sea Turtle collection. Um, my favorite from this um, is the Warm Palette. 
I, I really think the warm palette is quite beautiful. And um, I have actually worn it a couple of times. I think it's really nice. Again, it is, both of them are lightly pigmented. Well, I shouldn't say that, not lightly pigmented, but they are, they are luminescent. They are, they are kinds of shades that you would use if you're looking for a light, luminescent, soft, everyday, that type of look. If you want something really super impactful or shimmery or um, a, you know, trichrome, that's not what this is. This is a soft look. This is a spring, beautiful look. Um, but I like the warm much more than the cool. I feel like the cool is a little less impactful than the, the warm, which maybe you'll like. Um, but I feel like these two shades are so light uh, in pigment and so shimmery that they don't they don't show up as much. But again, that could be your thing. So, um, but they, I like the packaging. I think it's beautiful. The, the shade in the lip cheeks that I like is um, Starflower. It's a really good shade. It's like all the other ones that we've just talked about. It's like a, a pinkish, pinkish brown. It's just, it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And I love the lip cheeks. So uh, the Warm and the Starflower are the ones that I would recommend from that. I just think those two are fantastic. Um, I should mention the Gucci Gloss. I really don't like this. Uh, I'm going to try to go to a local Sephora in the next couple weeks and see if I can try um, to see it in store to see if it smells like this because this this smells bad. Yeah, it smells bad. There's something off-putting. Like, almost like alcohol, like a bad alcohol. Like, it's not good. Wish I could explain it. Like, stale. So, and it's very gummy. Um, so when I did my review, I talked about how much I dislike it. So I'm going to try to go into Sephora and see if I can find, like, try it. At least smell it. Um, and if it smells completely different and looks different in its texture, I might buy another one, like, different shade or something um, to try to test it out. Because it's possible that I just have one that's bad. Because uh, I've heard some from some people who have said the same thing that I did, which is that it smells bad and it's sticky and gooey. And then I've heard from other people that say that it works really well and they like it. So... I'm wondering if there's like a bad batch somewhere, which unfortunately sometimes happens. So I'll give you an update as soon as I have one. But I'd love to hear if you guys have it and you don't have that smell and it smells fine or it smells, you know, sweet or whatever it is. And it isn't like sticky and gooey. So that would be great to, to hear. Um, Tom Ford. So the Tom Ford uh, love scene, the blush. So... And I, um, I'm really sorry, I forget who wrote this on my, on my video, but um, someone mentioned, I, from New Zealand, I think, I could be wrong, um, that this is actually Sun Drunk, which is the two-toned blush from Tom Ford with the two shades mixed together of Sun Drunk. So I'm gonna try that in an upcoming video. I'm gonna see if this shade uh, is those two shades mixed together because I'm pretty pretty positive I have that blush. Um, those are the two, the shade and illuminate blushes. There's like two shades in there. So I'm going to check it out and I will let you know if that is the case. Um, and if so, I'll probably post something on Instagram as well. But I will say, I really like this blush. I think it's very pretty, um, but it's coral. It's definitely not pink. It's definitely a coral shade. So if you know if you looked at it online and, and thought it was a pink, um, it's not. It is very pretty. And it comes in this red um, uh, packaging. The honeymoon that comes in the red packaging with the the hearts. I have seen, I have seen it used, and it doesn't look like the old formula. It doesn't look nearly as impactful or as pigmented. But some people have mentioned in my comments that they have it, and it is. What that means, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I'm actually trying to do some follow-up with Tom Ford with the brand um, to maybe understand a little better about formulas. So stay tuned for that. I, I will do my best because Tom Ford is a, is a favorite of mine and I'd love to understand a little better why there may be differences and discrepancies. Um, and then of course, Iconic Smoke, which I have not had for a very long time. In fact, the video probably just went up. Um, the special shade in here, obviously, 
is that taupey shade. And I'll, I'll definitely link that video so you can see it. But what I would tell you is that the other shades do perform really well. I use the deep gray shade as the liner for this look all around my eye. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't feather, it doesn't wear badly, it, it stays on a really long time. It's pigmented, even though it doesn't look as much on the hand. Um, it's really nice on the eye. The bluish gray shade, again, looks like Eden Rock, but the bluish gray shade in Eden Rock is bluer. This is grayer. Um, it is really nice. Um, and I really love the quad. I am going to have a look with it, like more of a daytime look, just a plain daytime look. But I have to say, I really love that. I love that quad. Um, it's not going to be for everyone. I get it. A lot of people are going to be like, the only special shade is the taupe. But for me, I, I just think that's a really good quad. And I like the formula. It is not the same as the cream creme formula before. It's a little bit different. Um, but it's a good formula. It's very silky. It's more powdery, though than the creme. I still like the creme better, but this, this quad is really beautiful on the eye. So, um, I will, I will stick to that. All right, let's do Dior and then, um, we'll do Chanel last. So Dior had a number of different pieces that came out. Um, I would say first the maximizers. Um, they're all really pretty maximizers. Um, my favorites are the copper, um, which came out, I forget when these all came out, like end of the year. And then there was like different tranches. There was like an end of the year and then there was spring. Um, the blue and the yellow would be the, probably the most disappointing because this isn't really yellow and holographic. And this just makes your lips look a little blue. Um, it's not bad. It's just like, I, I, I see me using it when I have like a lipstick that's a little too warm for me. That's, that's all I'm saying. The other shades, um, these, these two shades, and I'll make sure the names are down below when I'm doing it. Cause at the moment I can't see what they are, but they're, they're pinky corals and they're really pretty and they're very nice, but it's not like, you know, it's not super impressive. Um, and then this shade, and again, I forgot the name. Anyway, I'll put the name down below. Reminds me of Purr um, from MAC, which used to be my favorite lip gloss. So I really like this one, um, just cause I, it's a really icy pink and it looks really nice over a brown liner. Um, and then the copper one is in my, is in my purse. Um, but all of them are good. The formula is really great. I love the formula. I think it's really comforting. Um, it's easy to use. It's easy to put on. The copper one is the most pigmented of all of them. Um, like I said, if I were going to pick it up, I pick up the copper one or the 990. If you like that icy pink, the others like the, the pink one and the coral one, corally one rose, I think it's rose gold and something pink, icy pink. Anyway, <laughs> my brain, um, they're, they're good, but like, they're not that different. And like I said, the blue and the yellow are the most quote disappointing because this does not look gold and yellow. It just looks like a pretty warm gloss and then this is a cool gloss and it kind of kind of makes you look like you've been out in the pool too much um that's my that my take uh addict in coral delight is beautiful it's a gorgeous shade it's the same addict um formula so the addict formula is the same but the color if you love coral that one you're you're gonna it's a treat um and then the new lipsticks um these are i only got satins i have 240 and i have 419 the formula is excellent. I have to say, um, Dior actually did a good, did a good job with the formula. Very beautiful. Stays on a long time. Creamy, um, silky. I have nothing, nothing bad to say. Um, if I would compare it to the Guerlain, um, and the YSL and makeup by Mario, the Guerlain is thinner than this. Um, silkier, more satiny. This is creamier. The East Saint Laurent is, um, smoother and the makeup by Mario has a completely different texture. The makeup by Mario is, it's really nice. Um, it's, it's almost thicker, but doesn't feel that way. It's like, um, it's more of a, it's less shiny for one thing the Mario than the, um, Dior's, but the Mario's are like almost 
line filling on your lips. I can't quite explain it, but Mario's are really, they're really excellent. Uh, the Dior's are excellent too, but I mean, I'm trying to, you know, fine, fine tune the difference. Um, I think, I think I would go, if you like a shinier lip, I would go with the Dior, the, the Rouge G. I liked a creamier, creamier, almost like lip filling. I'd go with the Mario. And then the Yves Saint Laurent is like the thinnest. Like it's a really thin, very smooth, silky feel. They're all excellent, but you know, there's a slight difference to each formula, which is which is not a surprise. Uh, I'd say the Guerlain is the shiniest. That's the Guerlain. See what I mean? It's very shiny. It's like a thinner, shiny lipstick, whereas this, these two are creamier. This one's like, this one's, the Mario's like thicker. It, it has this, but it's not heavy. It just feels like it, almost like it fills in your lines a little bit. If I could explain it that way. Um, the Dior, like I said, is really beautiful. If you like a shinier one, I'd go with the Dior. Mario's a little bit more creamy. The E Saint Laurent is like a thinner, silkier feel, but still creamy. And then the Rouge G has a, a sh um, more luminescent look to it. Almost like a lip chic, kind of, but it's more permanent than that. Uh, Dior also had, let's pull these out, um, a number of blushes and um, eyeshadows. So the blushes we had, and I've talked a lot about these, so I'll link some videos. Signature Shimmer, the Rose Papaline, which was a matte, and the Delicate Rose, which was satin. The Delicate Rose is very much like the Precious Rose, except it's a little bit warmer. I like the Precious Rose better. The Rose Papaline Matte is a very pink, almost whitish matte look. And then the signature one that came out late last year is almost holographic purpley pink, but it's got the cool fabric design on it. Again, it's not my favorite, but I, so none of those blushes were like, hit out of the park kind of blushes, at least not for me. Um, the eyeshadows, we have the Le Altier Mauve, which I, the most recent one I did, the Mimi Rose, the Papaline Peach, and the Pink Organza. Um, the Lottier Mauve is the one with the dress designs on it. Again, I'll, I'll make sure these are as many I can link as I can. And I don't really like any of them. Um, enough to be like, wow. The Mimi Rose is pretty. The Papaline Peach is pretty. The Pink Organza is pretty. The Latier Mauve is pink uh, with like a lavender. I do have the other one, um, which at the moment is over there and I can't remember the name of it. Dream, Dior Dream or something. It's got more of that, that coral look. I have not done a video with that one yet and I will, um, so you can see it, but they're all shades of like light pink and, and peach or, or very pink purple. And one, they're just not my color stories. And two, the formula to me is not as good as the formula of old. So, you know, if you really love them and you love the color stories, I'm not saying don't get them. I'm just saying for me, none of them were so far, you know, hitting it out of the park. And the blushes, I was kind of like, eh. Um, I'd honestly say the Maximizers or the Coral Delight lipstick or the, the new reformulated lipsticks are the winners of everything that's come out from, from Dior, in my opinion. Uh, okay, Chanel. So you're all gonna know the Chanel primers. Frosty White, I did buy a backup. Um, uh, Icy Beige, I only have one. I really like Icy Beige, but Frosty White's my favorite. And then the Copper one is a little too deep for me. They are great. The primers are excellent. I honestly promise you, if you get them, if, you, if you're somebody who has skin anything like mine, you're going to love them. Uh, I don't know how they work on oily skin. I can't talk to that, but the, they're absolutely excellent primers. They feel beautiful and make your skin look luminescent. Frosty White, like I said, is my favorite. And then Icy Beige. I did pick up the Lip and Cheek. Um, I really like the Brick Shade. I think this is really nice. The, the Purpley Shade is a little too magenta for me, but I, I think it's pretty. Um, and I will definitely use it, but the Brick Shade, Really, really like the brick shade. That one's that one's a favorite. Um, the Eclat Nui, uh, which is that silvery mushroomy 
um, quad. I love this quad. I think it's really a beautiful quad, but it's similar to the um, um, Iconic Smoke in the sense that it's a deeper quad that doesn't have a ton of different options in the way you wear it. You can definitely wear it like a lighter for daytime kind of thing, but it's not, you know, um, it's not the Chantecaise. It's not a light, soft look for the most part. Although I do want to say I use the silvery um, shade from Eclat Nui, the shimmer shade that's in there, over the purple shade in Surat. That's all that's on my eyes. And I think it's a very wearable, daytime, beautiful look. And then I took the liner from um, the Tom Ford and, and the, the dark gray shade from Tom Ford and used it as liner. I don't even have mascara on. So I, I really do think that the silver shade that's in the Clot, the Clot Nui is, is very special. The Tom Ford um, Iconic Smoke, the taupe shade in there is very special, but the shades that do around it are really beautiful and are good shades to support those special shades. Uh, but again, they have to be something that you that you like, that you like the color story. Um, the Rivage, which is the blue one, uh, which is coming out for spring, and I believe it's the 15th here in the United States. Um, this is a beautiful quint. If you're somebody who's gonna wear like a baby blue shade, if you're not gonna wear baby blue, I, I just don't know why you would get this one because there's lots of other taupey, creamy ones that don't have blue in it. So yeah, I think the blue is really pretty. I like the baby blue look on me. I thought it looked really nice. I think it's gonna look beautiful for spring, but that's not gonna be for everybody. And like I said, I think the other shades in there, although I think they complement the blue very nicely, you have other palettes with those taupey, sparkly white. So if you don't, if you're not gonna wear the baby blue, I don't see it as worth getting. Um, the winter shades that came with the primer. The blushes in here are really very pretty. I really like the formula of these. I, I don't think I've gotten confirmation what they actually are, but they are like a harder, almost baked gelé kind of feel to them. I have the pink one on today. This is the Rose Polaire. That's what I have on first underneath. So you see this like lighter pink here. That was on first and then the Suku on top of it. So, and a little bit on my nose. It's a really beautiful pinky shade and the coral is very nice as well. Um, you know, I've seen some comparisons on Instagram, like with other shades that, that Chanel has done. I don't think they're ridiculously unique shades, but the formula in there is really pretty and it seems to last a really long time. So just something to keep in mind if you're if you're interested in those shades, I think I think they're really good. Um, the liners, there was the, there is the Beige Lumiere and the Brune Platine. Probably the least favorite of liners that they've had in a while, just because they're very light, um, champagne-y type, platinum type shades, and on me, that doesn't really show up. So if you have a deeper skin tone, these are gonna be more contrasting, I think they'll be more interesting. More, more unique looking. Um, the uh, Cocoa Bombs. I like Cocoa Bombs. I think they're fun. Um, there's, you know, a shade here. Which one is it? Is it 938? There's one of them that like doesn't show up. Like it's basically, um, it's like non-existent. That's fine. Here it is, yeah. It's um, 936. There's nothing wrong with that if you're willing to pay that kind of money for nothing. Um, you know, some people are, I, I, I bought it so I can make sure to show it to all of you. I really like the formula. I'll keep it in my purse. It'll look really pretty. It'll look shiny, but there's only not much of a shade here. Neither, none of the bombs really do. Um, then there's 40 and 36. These both have a little bit more of color, but again, these are bombs. They are shiny bombs. They have a tiny bit of pigment. They are expensive because of course they're Chanel. So, um, unless you're somebody who really is into that, those aren't ones that I would suggest. The cool um, Le Beiges, this is the Healthy Glow eyeshadow palette. I really like this and I was very surprised that I did because I don't really like pink, um, which is one of the reasons that a lot of the Dior kind of was like meh. But this one, there's something unique about this and I think it's part of it is because of the plum shade. It's like plummy. Um, also, I just think the formula in here is really nice. Uh, I think this shade is particularly beautiful and the iciness of the, the pink. I just, I really like this on the eye. I think it looks really good. Um, and I think the formula is excellent. So if you like plummier shades and not pinkier shades, I think this one is, is a really good one. Um, if I had to choose between that and the Eclat Nui, they're so different. Um, 
<laughs> I think this one's the cool one is probably more every day, but the Eclat Nui is probably more special. Depends on what you have in your collection and what you feel like you need. Um, but I think, you know, that's a toss up. Like, I, I don't know if I could, I could choose. They're very, very different. Um, and I have been trying um, some new perfumes, but I have to say guys, like I said, I really have been kind of investing in older perfumes, ones that have been discontinued and harder to find. Uh, because a lot of the perfumes that have been coming out lately, I've just been a little, like, like I talked about with the cosmetics not being as good in fashion, it, the perfumes seem to be, not all of them, but for a lot of them. Mm. And in that vein, it turns out that La Mer has redone their um, skincare. So the lotion, the toner that, uh, I think it's called the toner, the tonic that I've used for years and the oil cleanser, they have changed completely. Now I do have backups of those products, not many, but I have a few. Um, so if I have a chance to try like samples of the new ones, I'll let you guys know, but at the moment I'm devastated and uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see what we think. So that was my really fast roundup. I'm sure I've forgotten something, but that was probably the majority of things. Um, I will have a few new things here and there, but again, still my low buy until May. So let me know what you're really interested in seeing. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon.